things that matter most in editing is finding a good a song or finding something that can accurately represent it and show it without vocals. Sometimes you can add them talking, but you want to avoid it most of the time. Most of what I've learned is that you want it to be displayed. You want it to be displayed without vocals. Now you can see a good instance of where it works well with vocals, like this. Another thing that it works so well is right here. What do you expect me to do? I expected you to have my back. I had your back. How could you possibly with the other two on yours? Good luck with Flynn. Deserve each other. You know, I can't I do my transitions, they all go really well with the uh, the beat and whatnot. And how I made the intro was, I, I'm going to just mute that track real fast. How I did it was, I that was, that was basically, and we just get the exact name of it right here, that is a dissolve threshold of peer. And I basically dragged it, um, and it automatically chooses um, where it wants the threshold in. I could have made it longer, but any longer it seemed kind of excessive. I say this so this, this one off in kind of a bang to kind of get you interest in the first couple of seconds, and I really think this is one of my best ones so far. It's an, it's amazing. Um, let's see. It basically goes through the intro of the characters and whatnot, and then right after this part, it deviates onto the relationship between uh, I've got I forgot her name, the uh, hot black haired girl and uh, Drake. Um, so basically, it's just showing different sequences and whatnot. It kind of go with the beat and whatnot, involving Lost, and you know, it kind of just goes with it. I mean, it really just depends on your editing style. Some people can only do some kind of songs. For some reason, I can pretty much do all of them. I just have to listen to the song enough and then get a feel for what I'm going to be doing with it. Um, you can see that I'm really, really exploring the layer system. And I have it coming in, the cross fading in, different scenes, different over, different overlapping sections that basically add to one another and add more depth to the overall scene. You can tell that it's lagging a tad bit, and it never does this only when I'm uh, recording while I'm in Vegas. And it kind of breaks it down and whatnot. Uh, if you want to see the full video, go ahead and go into the description of the link, and you can watch it. This is basically showing you the timeline, the breakdown of it. Other than this, I really can't explain other than you have to look at it and get a feel. You can see I use a lot of uh, those crossfades. Always saving your ass. And then you can see that sound I put in. Let me go ahead and mute the rest of the track so they don't interrupt me. There we go, and there we go. And you can see a lot of crossfades and whatnot. You can see I alter the, I actually lower the song in a couple of parts so that you can hear them talking a little bit better, especially right here. I wanted to, I really uh, put a lot of effort into making so you can hear what they're saying on this part because I thought it really went with it and added to the overall song, made it more beautiful. Um, I mean, basically, and you can tell that it's climaxed already, and it, it's about all well, about the climax at the train crash, and it's gonna come down in a second. And it's basically just explaining uh, his journey and whatnot. Well, the best that I could with this song. I think the song went rather well together. But check out the full video in the link, and uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you want me to do any other walkthroughs. I'm gonna do a couple others today and upload them today.